Okay, well, let me try and rewind to exactly how we got here. So, following the conclusion of the Conquest game that had happened earlier this, uh, earlier this evening, earlier this afternoon, I should say, we went on ahead and tried to start a team deathmatch, but a lot of people here had to go on ahead and go their separate ways. Again, time was a heavy influence of many of today's influences, and so while we are all amidst the rushing mindset, we also need to not let rushing affect common sense and Norman normal senses of judgment. So allow me to recap here on what's been going on. Uh, during the Team Deathmatch session's opener, there was a lag out session that had occurred, and so there was a host change that had to happen. This was dwindled down from a 5 versus 5 down to a 4 versus 4, I believe. Uh, something came up on my end in real life, and so I had to already step down and automatically step down. I already knew way ahead of time going into this that I could not wholeheartedly dedicate my full totality of time to this, but since nobody else was on call, that could wholeheartedly make it to the new timing and new rendezvous setting of this clan battle with AOC and Nemesis Gaming. This was originally set for the Sunday, and the Sunday was work would able to, would be able to work out a lot better, as I have a lot more free time that I can utilize on Sunday than Saturday. But since Saturday is what they seem to pitch, then Saturday is what we ended up at, which vastly inconvenienced a lot of people. And so at the cost of inconvenience also came pending complications. Some complications that I did ultimately prepare for way in advance just in case they may happen. And unfortunately that is the case we are treading upon now. So before they fully transpire as such I can already seek to do what I'm going to do here, which is to go over the results as such that were in motion and what has been in motion for this clan battle up to when it started, up to when it is that it supposedly had stopped or it, we came across this conflict of interest or this pending conflict of interest in the no team deathmatch having been done at all. And I left this clan battle stead over to Grim Wave at quarter to two this afternoon. And then I came back here at seven, eight o'clock this evening in order to try to check in with the clan and to also get my bounding straight for what all supposedly had happened while I was gone. And the fact that Team Deathmatch was not seen to at all or was not rescheduled from anybody's camp this significantly pissed me off when I heard this, and so I have to try to assess my thoughts and, for the time being, put my emotions aside in order to make sure I gather the general totality of everything that's come to pass right now. So, as was recapped here on GameFacts.com, Alright, the capture of the flag had ended in a 0-0 zero zero draw. That part I know. That was on Nemesis Hopes, that was map that was the corrosion map. That was a pretty good game actually. Conquest was the Alliance's host, and it was Nemesis Map Pick, which was on launch. That one was their win. And then here we go to the whole finility of Team Deathmatch and supposedly why the hell this did not happen here. And as Team Deathmatch was in motion, as one of the AOC members had to leave, we prepared to commence with the 4v4 and rehost the game. AOC had enough members for a 4v4, but refused to continue the match. Wishing to postpone the CB, they had also refused to use a sub. I declined to postpone the CB, since Nemesis had already scored a point out of the two rounds, with only the one remaining. I feel it is a waste of everyone's time to reschedule the match for only one round, when one team has already scored a point out of the two rounds. Well, both teams possess enough members online to continue TDM if both matches had ended in a draw. Okay, let me figure out how I can articulate and assess the light of the situation as such. So, my response back to this as follows was, okay, well, I thought that this could be to be postponed for a later date on Sunday of the same week for 4 versus 4, or 5 versus 5, or something to that 
general outline, or some type of preset arrangement in the present week coming, while that is still a relevant clan battle. <sighs> yes, I did expect complications to ensue while I was away, so I can elucidate on the whole combative setback. And so this is my message to Blaze Enzyme, which was one of the leaders of Nemesis Gaming Incorporated. Because his assessment of the clan battle in his eyes is that his team won the whole thing, even though this is not the full arrangement as generally predetermined for a clan battle. But in terms of this, he's, he feels that it's the outline here, but also wishes to convey this to me, that this is his perspective, and so it may not be the general legally binding perspective that has to be taken here. So this is one of those things where it's, it's in my hands in order to try to figure this out. Usually this is the point where I go over a lot of facets that were pros and cons about the clan battle, but as the clan battle was not generally complete as they usually are, this is why this is a very complicated assessment and a roundup assessment of the clan battle up to the point when I walked away or had to step aside because this is in real life factors that are out of my control and with the whole arrangement of the date being completely unaccommodating at this time for me and for a number of people on their ends and our ends IRL concern is going to obviously bleed into arrangements like this and so these are things you have to prepare for ahead of time which I thankfully did so my points that are here listed to blaze ends on and to the nemesis camp these are the same points that I would generally deduce in my findings about the clan battle up to this point, and so I'll just review these rather than try to assess another pairing. So, point one. Yes, GG's in all today, as this was a very really good clan battle and standoff from today's CB. AOC's coordination was much better today than the previous time we had fought them, and we had enough people to get this settled on Sunday, which was what I had hoped for because I had vastly more time to do this on Sunday over Saturday. For those that are curious, the Sunday rendezvous was the original time outline for the Alliance and Nemesis in which to do general battle. But as factors on the Sunday block was complicated for their end, they had pitched a counter-proposal in which to try to set this date up for the same time in the same place on Saturday rather than Sunday. That's where we settled upon Saturday in order to try to set this up. Having done this, this is where time begins to crunch. And I will assess that later on as I continue reading. Now, with the timing being shifted up, it also shifted a lot of things for people's schedules because not all could be free suddenly or last second on this arrangement. Not even me. And too many people had to cancel. Thus, I had to compose my layouts and a list of backup roster layout sheets just in case there were no-shows or pending complications within reason that were expected so it doesn't stray away from the general outline that's to be originally implemented in the Alliance's combat regime. Barring in real life concern that's going to happen, which is what's happening right now, or was happening earlier this afternoon when the clan battle was happening. Point two, uh, the whole thing concerning the account debacle, whether or not you're curious if that's an alt account or not, it is not an alt account. That is and was his ex, it's Cassandra that was on that account. <sighs> For those that are curious, yeah, she was there. ASC Young Wicked's account does belong to Shadow. It was originally Shadow's, but it is now my account to hold while I am in AOC's camp. That account is mine now. And so to save time, I just gave her access to that account since she couldn't have access to hers at that time or was having problems signing into hers. Thus is why she's one of the few people that has access to other accounts such as that one or to Tact Air Razor or Tact Exotic or in some cases of emergency, even my own account, my main account, the XX Rodimus 8XX account. She has those accounts that I created because I trust her like that. Took a lot of years of trust, but trust was built up all the same. Point three. I already knew in advance I wasn't able to fully commit to this CB, so I prepared everything way in advance so AFC could possibly play as smoothly as possible under a different leadership with the same effect. And so, Grimwave has a lot to work with up to a very reasonable, measurable point where factors out of either person's control would likely bleed into the video game or playing a video game 
And so to elaborate, within reason, I built, I made up all the charters here for AOC's clan battle. I made this all up like three, four days in advance. That way there wouldn't be any hassle because I knew that on a day like that where the likelihood of it would fall on a good weekend but could shift, and it did shift, I set everything aside in advance. That way I wouldn't be rushing on that day in order to try to write up all this crap. It would just be vastly easier to just go to my notes, pull it up, AOC versus Nemesis, outline one, outline two, outline a, B, C, D, plus the two backup plans that I created just in case there wasn't anybody on roster that I could use that I wanted to be there wholeheartedly that's like top of the line or on their on their A game, but can also try to make do with what they got or is in the mindset to play very aggressively or very smart. I have outlines set for all of those factors and the rewritten ones just in case to incorporate every and any possible move that you would make within reason with whom's in the roster or who's in the chat that's available that could just happen to pop on at such a sudden time. <sighs> who's there from AOC's camp was all that was able to do this CB otherwise it would have likely been twice the number of turnouts and we could have easily gotten the whole clan battle done in one day and in one swoop like how we've usually been doing but that was not the case this time. For those paying attention on the other side, you'll notice that there's usually easily six, seven people that always sign on on our end that want to do these clan battles, and so I genuinely rotate. That way everybody has a chance to see action. This time around, I didn't have that luxury. So those five-ish people that we had here, that's generally the only five that we have. So if it dwindles, then we got to correspond as it goes. Point four. All right. No winner or loser of this CB was determined in finality as there was only two of the three completed here. Not all three. <sighs> CTF was a draw and Conquest was Nem's win. We have put in the score at zero to one thus far. However, that's not the conclusion to the match as no third game had happened here to state the winner or tie game pending that is still in question. Two decisions have to be reached for one side fully for this to count here. Point five. This synopsis here is roughly where we're teetering at right now. And so, a forfeit can't just be generally assumed. Off of a present standpoint and or meaning of in real life concern into a rushed decision or a seemingly rushed decision or like you're trying to rush a decision along in order to save time of overly thinking about it and when you overly think about it then you're wasting time for what you gotta do in real life you can't do that type of stuff without further evidence or probable cause to support said argument and assess proper judgment because you can't go on a whim in trying to assess or make a very quick judgment for how you see the clan battle in full based off of the last decision that just happened when something like that's not going to sit well with everybody and it causes a huge conflict of interest that can lead to a lot of drama happening that doesn't need to be or all of this stemming from a situation that can just simply have light shed on it from a different perspective or from a different sense of morality or a different viewing premise. And lastly is point six. Uh, the ruling here I wrote at the time is uh, to be announced or TBA. And this is last but not least. This is not a complete game at all as neither team can lay claim to a win or a loss that wasn't rightfully gained or suffered. A decision needs to be made on this, but at the same time, you can't just let the whole efforts of both clans suddenly just be thrown away like that just because of one session that could not be done or could not refuse to be done or was refused to be logically postponed or completed at another time that was much more accommodating for 
both clans and that could be easily set in accommodations by both clan leaders rather than rushing through this whole thing very sloppily when time is playing a huge issue the more that we delve into the clan battle and as clan battles intensify and lag is likelier to happen the longer it goes on and everybody always has lag or connection relevant issues this is going to wane on time further so rather than rushing these things along it makes more sense to just try to reach an anchor point and then just do it another day this would have been the logical factor of sorts as the time and the outline would be a lot more accommodating and since you originally had pitched the idea for wanting to keep this at a 5 versus 5 then we could have wholeheartedly continued and resumed it as a 5 versus 5 that same day or another day that's the thing about being the one in charge is because when you go to set up these things you can also set them up to be as accommodating for you as you can for your opponent or both ways and then to conclude I'm gonna go ahead and make my decision on it tonight as I feel these things cannot be sloppily done and to express my further concerns deeper for how this is trying to conclude or how we are going to conclude this I'm trying to figure this out because this is just so frustrating to try and sort this out because I want to have good friendly relations here and I still wish to have this in tow for both clans but this is just a very frustrating decision to try to rest upon accordingly and this has to be carefully thought out so it's not biased or seemingly biased because I'm an AOC person speaking on behalf of AOC to a clan battle between AOC and Nemesis that happened but was not completed. And in tow of it not being completed, my bid in order to try to accumulate the continuation of Team Deathmatch, which is honestly where it needs to be at right now, is not going to be completely solid as the clan believes that it's already won this thing or won this clan battle when that's not how this is generally done or how it is accomplished in this fashion. Because this feels very undone or sloppily implemented of a clan battle and I don't want this to give that imp I don't want it to give that impression <sighs> let me let me think um, I do have something here that I can put together here and I'm gonna also debut this for gamefacts.com and I'll leave it as an open bid for the community to also weigh in as such because this is a decision that you're leaving in my hands to try to figure out how to create or compose for a situation like this and so I'm going to have to come up with something but it has to be something viable that both clans or both respective camps can ultimately agree to and in tow of this whenever it is I'm making this decision and I post it I also can leave it open for the community to weigh in on their thoughts since also since the community also has a voice in this and so your voice can be potentially heard if you so do wish it to be. So here's my take on this and then I'll also make a post about this on GameFacts.com when I have time. The conclusion of Team Deathmatch right now I'm saying is NA or the N slash A, what, how, however it is you word that. Or it's not applicable or not available or there is no answer to there is no answer to this. Since Team Deathmatch is not viable, then it will not be viable in any way, shape, or form. In my prior post that I had attached up, up here somewhere and that I have on GameFAQs also, I remember I stated as the following that a winner and a loser of the clan battle is not determined and was not determined in finality of this clan battle as there's only two of the three games that have been completed not all three while the score stands at zero to one that's not the conclusion to the whole match as the third game was not happened to state the winner or tie game pending that is still in question now granted the whole camp of nemesis could agree that going through the process of redoing or 
setting up one specific session for the clan battle is a complete waste of time. I'm telling you that it is not a waste of time, but rather a very wise investment of time sometimes, as long as time itself can be made in order to follow through on the action in order to honor a very worthy completion to a very good match. The general runtime for a decent amount of kills or time invested into team deathmatch is usual standings is about maybe like what seven to ten minutes for a generally competitive team deathmatch outline. You can go for 20, 30, 40 kills or something like that. It doesn't have to be anything astronomical, especially if time is being crunched. It doesn't take no more than maybe 10 minutes in order to actually settle into a team deathmatch. And so there would be no problem in just setting aside easily 10 minutes worth of time just to do one session and then you're done. And at most, a win can be decided, we're done, or if AOC wins Team Deathmatch, then it puts it at a tie, and we're also done. It doesn't have to be a tiebreaker, unless you want there to be a tiebreaker, but then I don't know whether or not time can allow for this or not. And there are certain clan battles, or there are clan battles that will just generally end in a straight out tie game, and that is the decision in finality. And that's fine, because there are clan battles that don't always have to have a winner or a loser in order to be really great clan battles. It's not that big of a deal. Next, also, in restating what it is that I had accumulated based off of whatever it is that Blaze and Grimwave had already previously stated in their exchange, a forfeit can't just be assumed off of a present standpoint and or a mix of in real life concern into a rushed decision or a seemingly rushed decision without further probable cause or any evidence in order to support the argument to assess the correct judgment that you're trying to instill on this. I stand by that as a truth because no clan, despite what position you are in last when the clan battle happened, unless that was one of the pre-written ideas or the outlines of the whole clan battle just in case time became a factor which I'm guessing is something that probably needs to be weighed in on in future clan battles I don't know but the truth of this is that no clan can verbally lay claim to a win or a loss that wasn't rightfully attained in the given sense that's always been done in standard clan battle or, or clan war arrangements in this community there has been no supporting evidence or probable cause to do this, but if there is, then that can change. Neither of that is the case right now. The conclusion of the team forfeit that supposedly was pitched by Nemesis' camp, I have to disagree with, because it was not agreed to in any resolution of this situation, as nobody from AOC's camp said that they forfeited the clan battle. This was Nemesis' assumption that they assumed the clan battle on assessment of time. And you don't want to use time in order to rush something like that along because that's not something that sits well with a lot of people. <sighs> Next. For reasons known and unknown, knowing in advance that people of both parties are really stressed for time on this particular day of a new arrangement rather than just going for another day of another arrangement, or having something specifically set aside for this day, at this time, for this bracket timing, for when in this clan battle is going to happen. I feel the factor of having pre-registered protocols or having a backup in play should have been at the top of the list in order to assure that no confusion would transpire near the end of the game or midway into the game as a lot more things that happen that are happening in life a lot of things in real life are then going to suddenly start to slip in effect of these things and cause a lot of confusion or non-essential misunderstandings i honestly still just don't believe that anyone can just lay claim to just state automatically that their team wins because it would seem out of illogical favoritism of some sort that I would be to award Nemesis something that they didn't rightfully earn. They only have the one win. They don't have 
the two wins of the one battle in order to win the whole battle itself. That's not judiciously sound. However, on my end, I can't state any further detail or lay claim beyond my general ruling assessment that I'm giving to the community or to this captured synopses of sorts. Outside of this pursuit, in order to request a final match to squash all of this, otherwise my counter argument or my counter assessment that I'm going through right now would be seen as biased or in favor to AOC. I don't need that to happen. My original assessment here in this aftermath video is to just assess the pros and the cons of everything that's been going on here in this clan battle. And up to before Team Deathmatch, I was honestly fine with everything that had happened between Capture the Flag and in Conquest. It's just right here. Now, with all this being understood at the moment, this is what I also aim to try to do here. I stand by the fact that Team Deathmatch is going to be ruled at non-applicable, and we're going to move on. So there's going to be one round with a win, one round that's not an answer at all, and one round that's a draw. Zero, one, and A. That's the ruling for the clan battle that's at present. Now, because there's no decision that rules yay or nay, that's why me personally, I'm going to leave this here also. I'm going to make the, like I said, I'm going to make the post on Game Facts about it. I would rather just, with this being understood, I would, I would award one point to be given to both teams as the clan battle was seen to despite not being complete. Also, in addition to this, because there is no final win or lose ratio, I will just I would give both teams one point, but I won't give a win or a loss to either side's faction in this scenario. That way there's no point there's no win or loss ratio that will be counted for or against either side in the standings at this time. <sighs> anyway, that's my whole assessment of this of this uh, present situation and in turn these are my thoughts on the final decision that I'm likely going to post on game facts once I collect my thoughts and write everything out accordingly that I need to write out that way everything here can suffice for everybody that was involved or that had played in the clan battle that happened earlier today my general ruling here is to be as unbiased as possible, but I know in the end this decision may not sit well with everybody, but a decision has to be reached about these things, and I'm not going to be the kind of guy that's going to try and be the good guy, bad guy kind of thing here. I got to just make a ruling, and I got to just go on about my day. That's all there is to it. I'm sorry, but that's this isn't going to be my final decision about it. But this is also an open panel to the community, so if they want to, they can also weigh in their thoughts on this as well, whether or not they feel that they can work with this clan battle standing at a win, a loss, or in this case of an incomplete, it would be a non-applicable final decision. Any thoughts, comments, or concerns, you can leave them in the comments section down below, or you can reach me at my main account on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3, all the same. Anyway, y'all have a blessed one ahead for the pending afternoon and evenings to come. And as always, till all are one.